Once again, we're here at the Wicked Pissa Food Truck, and we're in downtown Greenville today, joined by Chris Coletti. How you doing, Chris? Good. How are you, Chris? Thanks for having us in again. You know, we, we were with you before uh, talking to them when we were on the outside of the truck. This truck is a beautiful truck, first of all. Thank uh, you. I, I mean, on the inside, too. I mean, <laughs> we, look, look at all the, you got all the bells and whistles there. Yeah, we actually have had a lot of compliments from uh, fire inspector, the health inspectors. Uh, a couple of them have said that it's just they've never seen anything like it, which is a good feeling. You got all the electronics, too. Yeah, well, you can take the guy out of IT, but you can take the <laughs> IT out of the guy, I suppose. I love it. I love it. Talk to me about what what made you personally want to get into a food truck situation? Well, that's a really long story. I don't know if we got time for that. Well, can but you give me the yeah, Reader's the Digest version? The Reader's Digest version was after yeah. 25 years in IT and technology, the industry's changed a lot, and it's mm -hmm. gotten a little bit crazy out in Silicon Valley. And uh, I was laid up with surgery on my bicep last year, and my nephew and I started talking about this idea. And I said, what if we did something completely different? Uh, and I left tech and we just cook food. Uh, and you love it. We do, we love it. Yeah. People seem to love the food and they're enjoying it and we're enjoying serving them, so. And you know, we, you've got some amazing dishes. We were talking about your menu before, but y your menu, I mean, it's very, I mean, it's it's chuck full of great stuff. I mean, it's great food. Well, and it, it does change. This is the shorter version of it, like we right. talked about earlier, but we've had, uh, we have a chicken salad today for lunch. Mm -hmm. We'll do tuna salad. We'll do uh, uh, a club that has bacon and turkey and ham and, oh, all, wow. and a homemade aioli yeah. on it. So we do try to do things differently. Tyler actually makes all the sauces himself outside of the dipping sauces. Right. We, we, we get those off the shelf. But. And you said you make about nine about nine gallons of the what you call gravy. I think some people got different names for it. Yeah, we Red get yelled sauce, at about marinara, that. Every, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> every once in a while, people are like, gravy's supposed to be brown or white. It's like, not <laughs> my house. Not growing up with a Sicilian grandfather. <laughs> Uh, he also had a lot of colorful words too. But did we you get a lot of your ideas from your grandparents and your parents down the line? Kind of. We've been we've yeah. been making the sauce the same way mm -hmm. since I was a kid. I mean, my mom used to make it on Sundays, and it's what you smelled in the whole house. And right. we do it a little differently on the truck. We do it vegetarian. Okay. Uh, normally, when we cook it at home, we cook all of the meats in the sauce. Right. So we put brujol yeah. and and uh, and the meatballs and sausage. But we decided we have a friend of ours in town, Kristen, who who likes to come and eat grilled cheese because she's vegetarian. And we serve the grilled <laughs> cheese with the gravy on the side okay so we don't dipper, yeah yeah we decided not to mix the meatballs with the gravy when we cook it right. now so that it is just straight tomatoes and seasoning we're going to walk through these again but yep. let's start on this end this time yeah you got to take a bite out of I, that one. i won't get a bite of that <laughs> so that is what we call a classic italian we call it the fenway park we do it with uh a, a layers of five different meats so there's mortadelle okay capicola which is a hot ham salami pepperoni and sliced prosciutto with fresh mozzarella arugula uh, and a balsamic glaze. What we did is we loaded it for you, so right. we did lettuce, tomato, pickle, onion, banana pepper. All right, I'm going to try to do my Food Network lean. Yeah, I, well, you okay. got to unhook okay. You got to onion your jaw for okay. that one. Oh, goodness. But it's got a good cross section. Okay, on I'm going to squeeze it a little here <laughs> just fine. so I can get a bite. But here we go. And the rolls are, at, we actually get them out of uh, New oh, York. Oh, wow. Mm. And you're, you're not even faking that. That's no, good. No, no, that is so good. <laughs> I love mm. It's got my all the right. My mom always told me not to talk with my mouth. That's full. all right. <laughs> It's got all the right flavors. It's to got it. all the right flavors in there. It, that balsamic you've got in there really jumps out. Yep, it really does. Now let's talk about. This is a staple for you all. Oh right yeah. No, well this, this is a staple for me personally because mm -hmm. my wife knows that I could live on chicken tenders if I try. Um, but there's a joke we have, you know, never trust a skinny chef unless they go to the gym every day. I tell people that do. all the time. So I could eat these every day, but right. we hand bread the chicken tenders every morning. We soak them for 24 hours uh, and then we cook them off in the first thing in the morning and then we will cook them again as right. orders come in. And the seasoning on the fries uh, we talked about earlier, it's a friend of ours at the green, uh, at the farmer's market here right. on Depot Street, Huckleberry Moon Farm. He came up with the recipe for that and gave us the recipe. So uh, it's killer. The, the fries, we can't, people, oh. people take those all day. I can vouch for those folks. I've tried those earlier. The spice is spot on on those fries. We get people who actually now order extra seasoning. They want oh, it heavy. I, I would too. I would too. And of course, chicken parm. That I mean, one you that gotta is take, a you gotta take a bite out of that one too. Okay, okay. <laughs> Twist my arm. Yeah. Okay. So that's a, to a toasted roll, uh, okay. mozzarella cheese, uh, the gravy. I want to make and, sure everybody gets a good look. 
look at same that. chicken yeah. tenders. Uh, we serve it with a little bit of sauce on and a little bit on the side. Believe it or not, we had people in the beginning who said we were over saucing stuff and then we were under saucing stuff. So now we just split split it half on, half off, and then you can order extra if you want. We do have people who get extra gravy. I'm trying to get through that bite because it's so, I didn't want to let it go because it's so good. Yeah, it's a good one. You got the outside of the chicken on that, folks. It's really crispy, and then you get the great chicken flavor on the inside, plus the cheese and the and the gravy on there is fantastic. <laughs> and what do we got last? That is the, that is the most basic of things, but when done right, it's probably oh, what, yeah. what Italians call you know their comfort food: meatball sub, straight right. up. Parme uh, Parmesan cheese on top, meatball sauce, uh, provolone on the bottom, toasted bun. It's just, it's every day, all day. Well, I'm not going to bite into this one for one simple reason. I think Amy's got her eye on it, and so we're <laughs> going to let her have a little bite of that one. That one goes here, well. So. That one goes quick. These yeah. go at the chicken parm and the tenders sell out every day. All right, so you all are going to be here. You're in downtown Greenville a lot of days. Yep, Monday through Friday right. we do a, we do a straight five day week. Uh, we actually have a mobile app uh, that people can download on iOS and. And Google and until we'll push out at notifications where we are right uh, but there's a schedule there every day that's up to date we, we add stuff we change it we get requests we'll change the schedule right, right. real time and live all right Chris Coletti I think you've got a good thing going on here my friend thank you buddy. all right Appreciate Folks, it. it's the wicked pizza and pizza means awesome outstanding and that food is outstanding and I encourage you to try it the next time you see this food truck out and about